the much-talked-about Hunger Games prequel has elicited a wide range of reactions from both fans and the cast, so let's take a look at them. An exciting comeback. From what the fans have been led to believe so far, they can be certain that this prequel is tougher than the original movies. In the original movies, the fans were able to see the future of how the dystopian country was split into different districts and how a revolution started because Katniss, a girl from one of the poorest districts, defied all odds to come out triumphantly. So, in this prequel set in the past, the fans would get the ability to explore what the early days of the 12 districts and capital were like 64 years before the main events that went down in the original Hunger Games. Because of how far back the prequel goes in history, History, it's easy to say that the storyline is easier to follow than the elevated playouts in the original. The president, Snow, who was a teen at the time, was also entrusted with providing ideas to help improve the battle royale. This establishes that Snow has always had a hand in shaping the world into what it is, even before Katniss and Peter were involved in the game 64 years later. The prequel. To the delight of the fans, the Hunger Games are coming back, but as a prequel after about six years since the last Hunger Games were released. The last ones were based on a trilogy by Suzanne Collins. The role of Katniss was played perfectly by Jennifer Lawrence at the time and was one of the great moments of her career. In a report by Deadline in August 2021, it was said that the production of the movie would begin in 2022. The prequel, which is titled The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, is going to give an amazing backstory to what happened in the real Hunger Games. And just like in the original Hunger Games series, the prequel would also focus on the dictator President Snow. The prequel shows a teenage Coriolanus Snow trying to seek fortune for his family by becoming a mentor in the 10th edition of the annual Hunger Games. Snow, who felt like his hope of winning had been defeated because he was paired with Lucy Gray, who was a tribute from one of the country's poorest districts, later found how promising she was and set up his games to make her win. The official synopsis by THR started with, In this return to the Hunger Games years before he would become the tyrannical president of Panem, 18-year-old Coriolanus Snow sees a chance for a change in fortunes when he is chosen to be a mentor to Lucy Gray Baird, a girl tribute from Imp impoverished District 12. This synopsis has led many fans to push back and think it's a ploy to redeem the president's image from the one they know from the original Hunger Games. The author of Cemetery Boys, Aidan Thomas, took to Twitter in a now deleted tweet to say, the very last thing I'm interested in is humanizing a fascist dictator because he has a tragic past. But according to the author of Hunger Games, Suzanne, she doesn't have an interest in making Snow lovable in the prequel, but so the fans can see how cruel he always has been. In a review for Insider, Abby Montiel described the book in a way that helps the fans be less worried, as there's no tampering with the villain. She said, If you're worried that The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes attempts to somehow redeem the character by giving him a tragic backstory, don't be. Abby in her description went further to say that the single act of Snow in trying to help Lucy doesn't make him a hero. Abby said, In his mind he might be a hero fighting to save Lucy Gray, but Collins makes it abundantly clear that Snow is a cold, ruthless teenager well on his way to becoming the cruel tyrant we first meet in The Hunger Games. No return of actors. As expected, the actors from the original series, like Jennifer Lawrence, don't have a place in the prequel because many of them were yet to be born at the time. Even though many fans would like to see those faces pop up again, it's almost certainly impossible to adjust the time difference unless there's an alteration in the adapted novel to do so, which some fans think would defeat the purpose anyway. One of the actors from the movie, Josh Hutcherson, was elated to learn of The Hunger Games' return and expressed himself ready to feature in it. The actor said, I love that whole cast and crew. If they can get some of the same people involved, I would do it, no question. The actor said he would like his character to get to be a part of the show and said, I don't know anything about it story-wise, but if it has to do with how we got to the world of the Hunger Games, then I think that's going to be super interesting. I would like Peter to be in it because I would like to be with these people again and work more in that world. 
He, however, confirmed that he was yet to be called to be cast in the show, but the expectant actor said, I haven't gotten a call for it. I'm excited to read the book, though. Unlike her colleague, Jennifer Lawrence doesn't sound too excited about the return of the prequel. The actress was quick to dismiss the question when asked about the prequel a few years ago. She said, I wouldn't be involved. Jennifer then showed the reason behind her indifference when she said, I think it's too soon. They've got to let the body get cold, in my opinion. Donald Sutherland, who played Snow in the film, will also be unable to reprise his role because the prequel will focus on a teenage snow. However, according to Lionsgate, the original show's director, Francis Lawrence, would be returning to his job as the director of the show. There's no change in the producers of the show either, as Nina Jacobson and Brad Simpson will also be coming back. Also, in a Deadline report, it says that the book's author, Suzanne, would be in charge of writing the film's treatment while Oscar-winning screenwriter Michael Arndt will adapt it into a screenplay. After the main cast of the show was announced, the fans took to the internet to check out who would be filling the shoes of Jennifer Lawrence, and that turned out to be Rachel Ziegler, who would be playing Lucy Gray Baird, the actor Tom Blythe, who was cast as the teenage Coriolanus Snow. The director of the show made some remarkable comments on Rachel when he said, Like everybody, I first saw Rachel Ziegler in West Side Story, and like everybody, I knew I was watching a star who would command the screen for a generation. The director, who thinks Rachel would have no issue playing the role perfectly well, went ahead to say, Lucy Gray is a perfect match for her as an actress. The character is bold, independent and defiant, but also vulnerable, emotional and loving. Rachel will make this character unforgettable. The 21-year-old actress took to Twitter to hint at the fans of her new role with a message that looks like it doesn't make sense until you look closer. The message reads, Listen up. Can y'all grow restfully? Are you becoming an individual resting decisively? Rachel later shared the tweet on her Instagram with highlights and emphasis on the first letter of every word in the tweet, which spells out her role, Lucy Gray Baird. She then joked about following the singer Taylor Swift's ways of hiding obvious clues. The actress also shared happy images of herself in a restaurant with the caption, photos from when I found out it was happening and it was real. The lead stars of the show were really chosen to follow the excellence of the lead stars in the original Hunger Games, as many of the production team members can vouch for their competence. According to Erin Westerman, president of production at Lionsgate Motion Picture Group, who didn't mince words about Tom Blythe, said, Tom Blythe is an explosive rising talent whose mesmerizing and charismatic presence makes him an exciting actor and perfect for this leading role. Producer Nina Jacobson also included her own additions when she said, Tom's performance will both fulfill and disrupt everything you think you know about Coriolanus Snow. He's a tremendous talent who will show why Snow always always lands on top. The director, Francis, didn't leave any stone unturned to describe the role Tom Blythe would be filling. He said, Coriolanus Snow is many things, a survivor, a loyal friend, a cutthroat, a kid quick to fall in love, and a young man ambitious to his core. And the director, who's certain of how Tom would deliver in fitting into the role and showing fans how a famous tyrant was born, said, Tom's take on the character showed us all the complex ambiguities of this young man as he transforms into the tyrant he would become. The teaser. Nothing is getting cold in the Hunger Games universe as a teaser for the prequel has been released on YouTube, promising fans an even more enticing journey. And according to the synopsis of the prequel, it says, Uniting their instincts for showmanship and newfound political savvy, Snow and Lucy's race against time to survive will ultimately reveal who is a songbird and who is a snake. The fans, however, think they already know who turns out to be the snake and the songbird with what the Hunger Games has already shown them about the future. And they can't just wait to see what the gen of The Hunger Games is really about. So far, that's all there is to know about The Hunger Games reboot. What do you look forward to in the prequel? Let's find out in the comments. Thanks for watching.